Hi, I'm Keegan, and this is A Bunch of Gamers. This is our 45th episode of Werewolf the Apocalypse, 20th Anniversary Edition. I'm going to go around and have my players introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Sam. I play Cora Two Hearts. She's an Arun in the Geta Fenris. Hi, I'm Riley, and I play Sersha Flynn, also known as Onyx Flame. And she is a boss turn ragabush with a Fianna. I'm Tyler, and I play Kyle. He is 19, a Philodox, and has found his purpose with the Garu. He's known as Guards the Low, Child of Gaia. Hi, I'm George. I play Roy, also known as Mindscape. He is a ragabosh with the Stargazers. Hi, I'm Jade. I play Morgan, Blood Singer, Trevor Lane. She is a Galliard of Fiona. You've entered the facility under DIA, killed the Fomori, and are ready to continue on as you collect yourselves as the bodies have piled up around you, as the three packs work together in unison to bring down your shared adversaries as you prepare to move on into the next room. Fights on rooftops looks around, picking up one of the Fomori with her mechanical Krinos arm and crushing the skull and casting it aside. Ready? I doubt that the rest will be any easier. Ready as a lover be. <laughs> what she said? You begin moving straight ahead into the, the secondary storage facility that you had entered before with the antibiotics. There are several Fomori here, including the ones that fly. They are armed to the teeth with guns as well as one figure that doesn't stand out. So you see about 12 of the flying Fomori, another uh, 10 of the stinger ones, and then one that appears to be a normal human of some kind. Could I get a perception occult? roll from Morgan and Saoirse specifically. <laughs> I know this ain't gonna go well. Oh ye a little faith. I told you, this ain't gonna go well. Difficulty 6? Yep. Alright, you both pick up that there's a kinship between yourself and this person. Uh, with that success and that feeling of kinship, the both of you may make a perception empathy roll, difficulty five. Okay, that's that's much better. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a roll I could actually accomplish. <laughs> <laughs> I retract that statement. <laughs> <laughs> I have no empathy for this person. You got two successes. Mm hmm. Oh, well, six. <laughs> it's less than half. <laughs> you both get the sense that this person does not want to be here. Uh, Saoirse, you also get the sense that they're being compelled to be here, as both of you see past their guise, as they have almost rubbery gray skin now that you see them as they truly are, with blood red gums and a maw full of needle-like teeth, though they don't have any of the same signature forms of corruption about them that you'd see from a Fomori. And it seems like your companions can't see these sorts of changes at all. Uh, Saoirse's going to growl at vampires. No. You, you get a, uh, the kinship is something else. Uh, kinship between you. Like, you feel like they're related to you. Like a Fianna uh, thing. Fake? Guessing, I'm, I'm guessing a Fianna thing. Yep, yeah, yeah, you can do a, pers uh, intelligence occult. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do you, know, do you know what, for the, do you know, for, for shits and giggles, I will indulge. I got none. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. hey, hey, guys! We still have, you know, 
the mulligan chips. I'm, I'm not wasting a mulligan on this. Sure, I'm just saying we we haven't been using them. That is true. I'm not wasting them. I'm not wasting the mulligan. I I only have one dice. There okay. we go. So, Sirsha, you put together that they're Fey, and they're something that you've heard of before called red caps. Oh God, no, not the red caps. Unlike the blue caps. <laughs> yeah. So red they're... cap. They're mischievous, right? Uh, mischievous and violent. Yeah. But don't that, don't touch the hats. That also conflicts with its seeming not wanting to be here at all. Uh, so Sirsha is going to like elbow uh, her fellow Fiona and say, "What you know about red caps?" Uh, red caps. Not a great deal. Just uh, don't don't touch them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't don't go near them. Well, there's one right there. We should warn the others. Probably. Uh, guys. <laughs> you see you see that over there, and I point towards them. Just no no touchy. Don't go. They just look like a normal human Person. to us, right? Yep. Yes. Are, are they yes. dangerous? They look less dangerous than the wasps. Yeah, they're they're pretty they're pretty dangerous. I mean, we're supposed to kill everything, everything. in here. Uh, perhaps so... not this thing. Why? You like we gotta. Because it's a fae, and they don't exactly look like they're having fun. Still kind of feel like we gotta. Well, I mean, is it gonna attack us if we don't kill it? Like, while we're killing all of its friends? Judging by their face? Nope. Um, crap, what is the... Garu that we're with, with the metal arm. Fights on rooftops. Fights on rooftops. Uh, <laughs> Cora will look at look at her like, "What's your call on this?" We you were supposed it. to kill everything. If it gets in our way, kill it. Done. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. And next to Sersha and just go, just leave it to fights on rooftops. Don't get involved. It's going to blame all of us. I feel like it's time to get busy, y'all. It is combat roll time. Single d10, add your dex, plus your wits. Krinos form, right? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Single d10, plus dex and wits. And there are going to be specifically two flyers on you, three sting and three stingers. Like each? No total. On your group. Oh. And the other oh, okay. ones that I described are gonna be fighting the other packs. That makes sense. I was uh scared. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled so well. I uh I, I I don't know I don't know why I bought this something. <laughs> I forgot I add uh I forgot to add my plus ten to initiative, so twenty nine. Yeah. Nineteen Oh it was Well 19, nineteen total. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. wish it was twenty nine. I could get up to twenty seven currently. Yeah. It's that one and then I only need two more to max out my Dex. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh Morgan, what would you like to do this round? Uh, I would like to inspire my party. No way, because I'm at the end. What's the point? <laughs> well, I've already killed everything. <laughs> Don't worry. Inspire. There's more. There's more enemies than there are opponents. <laughs> than there oh. are of you. So oh, you can beautiful. sing of our praises. Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna use Call of the Wild. Okay. 
Sounds good. That is, that is what I am doing. Um, and what does that do again? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> she gets. The, she rolls. Um, basically a performance check. Or it might be expression. But uh, what it is is every two successes, she can do something to enhance you, whether that's give you back points of rage or give you temporary dots in brawl or things like that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. yeah I, can either, I can either give points of rage or, um, yeah, it just actually says points of rage in the, <laughs> in the book, apparently. Uh, but yeah, it's a stab, stab the empathy roll. Okay. Cool. The stinger number two is going to take a swing at Morgan with his stingers. Leave me alone, right? Kyle? Um, I will spend a rage to dodge and I will slash at uh, the stinger that's attacking Morgan. Okay. Saoirse? Muted. Maybe. Thinking. Okay. Uh, so, I will spend a point of rage to dodge and then claw at the stinger that is going to attack Morgan. Because okay. she didn't dodge. <laughs> Was that a sigh of you forgot? Maybe. <laughs> the flyer is going to turn and he has a handgun. He's going to fly towards the top of the uh, room so that's hard. Uh, it's basically, unless you fastball special, can't get to him and he's going to fire at Kyle. And take some That's shots at him. Good. Stinger 2 is going to try and swing and sting Morgan. Stinger... What is this? One Morgan Day? Or... <laughs> Sorry, uh, we'll go... I, I meant Searsha. Sorry. Stinger Stinger 1 will be going after Searsha. Stinger 3... Dog. Or, you know what I mean. The, the last thing is going for... That. Uh, the red cap is going to point their gun hesitantly at Korra and fire. Mm -hmm. The uh, flyer, up another. The other flyer is also going to fire at Korra with their gun. Awesome, Roy. Um, Roy is going to attack the flyer that's attacking Kyle. Okay, how do you? How is he going to get up there? Um, well, since I'm moving first, I shouldn't have to, but I'm just going to jump up and grapple him. Okay. And then if I can make a specific attack roll, rip off mm -hmm. his wings. Okay, uh, we'll do an attack roll for that, and uh, if okay. you get if you get two damage, you'll rip off his wings. Cool. And Cora. Uh, we are gonna. Dodge, claw, claw at the red cap. Okay. All right. Let me look at my numbers. Exclamation point. Roll. I'm doing two claws. That's dex brawl. It's T, right? Yeah, T6. For, yeah, T6. Yeah. Or, no, you're clawing. You have, it's T5 because you have uh, razor claws activated. Oh, yeah, because I have razor claws activated. Thank you. T5, F1. Hey. <laughs> All right, five roll over. So it's five plus two is seven, plus two is nine, plus eight is seventeen. Okay. Seventeen d ten t, and that difficulty is for every difficulty roll, or is it no, just for just attack? The attack. Okay, that's what I thought. Huh. I mean, yay, <laughs> but still. So... <laughs> <laughs> what? Just eight out of 17. I... That's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, copy. Paste. So my second claw. Well, uh, well. That's it. He's soaked. You killed him. Oh, fantastic. So he's dead. It's going to be good. Uh, oh, well. We're going to have a good time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
good time. <laughs> good time. <laughs> All right, Roy. Um, it's Dex Brawl, right? Yep. All right. Um, Diff six. difficulty six. Yep. Three. It's all rollover. And then that's strength for damage. Yep. Six. Roll six. Seven, eight, nine. Eight, eight, eight. I feel like I might be doing this wrong. I don't know why. Um, can I actually use my inspiration? Um, what's the gift again? It's the iron resolve for damage, or no? No. Okay, just wondering. Five damage. You rip off his wings and kill him. Oh, well. Okay. And he's out of the rotation. All right, we got the stinger coming for Searsha. Boom, dodge. All right, it's gonna be hard to hit, but we'll see what he does. Also, she's immune to his like strongest attack, so. That's a plus. Oh yeah, Heeds. the poison? Yeah. He will have to roll every die a success to hit. Don't say that, Keygun. And there and we he go. missed. <laughs> then the other stinger going for Kyle. Dodge. No, thank you. <laughs> and um, the other flyer taking a shot at Kyle. You can't dodge this. He's too Ooh. far away for you to track the uh, the gun. But I can soak it. You can soak it. There we go. So that hits. You soak all of it. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank literally you, just, armor. <laughs> literally just stands there and goes. <laughs> all right, Sirsha. Uh, so after seeing the red cap get brutally murdered, nope. Um, I would like to roll willpower to change my action. Okay. To turn. And jump and try and grapple Korra. Okay. Korra wasn't dodging, so if you get the success, you will have success. I was dodging. Grappled. Were you? Okay. Yeah. I okay. was dodging the red cap and the... That's right. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I mean, do I need to roll the willpower? You do. It's uh, difficulty eight. You just need one success to change your action. So I have four. Buck. So you will still have to continue to attack the uh, the stinger that's on Morgan. So Sirsha is going to yell, "You bitch!" And that attack claw takes brawl six. Cool. Five, six seven. Okay, and I'm just gonna preemptively roll their soak. Two to hit. Two to hit, so that's all rollover, and they soak none of it. Six, seven, eight. And don't forget the plus the uh, the other plus two for uh, your claw damage. No oh, shit. All right, you get a good Do! hit. The stinger is definitely hurting. Anyone so. want to throw Korra at one of the flying dudes? No, he so. got grappled. I thought there were two of them. There are two flying dudes, yeah. So, one's dead. Uh, let's see which stinger's dead. No, oh, both stingers are still up. So, that stinger is going to try... Or, so, it's uh, Kyle, your turn. Lovely. Uh... It's the same stinger that's attacking Morgan. Yes. All right, slash. It's all rollover. He soaked none of it. You killed him. Wonderful. Woo. 
Easy. All right, Morgan, it is your turn. Oh my God. Hear me howl. Or... <laughs> I was gonna say roar, but uh, no, hear me howl. Hear me howl. All right, you could, give, you could give them a total of three rage, or you could give everyone a total of three bonus dice on their brawl that will decrease every round, so they'd get three bonus brawl dice on round two, or the next round, two round, bonus round, or dice the next round, one, and then it dissipates. What would we all like, everyone? <laughs> I have a feeling it might be those extra dice. Extra dice or rage? Yeah. I'm good with either. I would not suggest extra rage for Sirsha. <laughs> but extra dice for you all. All right. So extra dice. So everyone on this next round, you will get three extra dice on your brawl rolls. Woo! Congratulations. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So, Morgan, what are you going to do this round? This round, I am going to attack uh, the one that is... Hmm, hang on a minute. They've all been attacked, and let's be honest, by the time it gets on to me, they're going to be dead. <laughs> 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 Do more inspirations. Give everyone rage. <laughs> Watch I just stand here the entire time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... Circular breathing. Or in this case, circular howling. Circular howling. I can't just stand and howl the entire time. That seems pointless. <laughs> but there's not else. There's other than that or, f or actually attacking something. Oh, jeez. No, do you know what? I'll 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 attack. <laughs> I'll attack the one that Sersha went for. Um and I will also dodge. You mean the one if that attacks me. the one that attacked Sorsha? Because the one Sorsha attack died. Oh, okay. Uh in which case which ones which ones are left? Which there numbers? There is a flyer that it sounds like Cora wants to go after, so I recommend just <laughs> you know. that. Leaving that for for her. Yeah. Um, yep. Then there's a st then there are two stingers left. One that attacked Kyle and one that attacked uh, Sirsha. Okay, so I'll I'll go I'll go for the one that attacked Sirsha then. Okay. And I will also dodge. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nice save, uh, Kyle. Um. I. Th how many total have died? Um, so one flyer and one stinger, so two died. Okay, and then I guess the the red cap also. Um, and the red cap, yes, yeah, so the three died. Three out of the six. And you did say that the red cap was out of range, right? No. Or, I'm, God, I, the flyer. The flyer is the out flyer. of range now as they're flying, yeah. Okay. Unless you have, um, like, city running or something like that. Right. I can fastball special Korra if Korra's up for it. Down for it, yeah. Okay. So, Cora, your initiative will move down past all the flyers and things like that to get thrown during the attack. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, so, Kyle's in a fastball special. Saoirse? She is... going to go over to the red cap and, like, pray that something bad doesn't happen. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the flyer seeing Kor is gonna uh, fire at Kyle because he's the one throwing her. Oh, Are you dodging? Yeah, I forgot to say dot. Well, he's firing at me. Yeah, so it oh, guns, doesn't yeah. matter. Guns, except in like immediately right next to them, you can't dodge. Okay. Unless you want to give up your Fair attack enough. and dodge behind uh, cover. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, one of the sting the so the stinger is gonna continue uh is gonna leave Sirsha and also go for Kyle. And the last stinger is gonna go for Morgan. Roy? Um can I city run off of somebody's head into the flyer? 
I'm going to say yes and give you a bonus die for that attack. <laughs> <laughs> Can I specifically use Korra? Are you fucking kidding yes. me? <laughs> <laughs> it's because yes. he loves you. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. And Korra's got to wait. So your city running off of Korra's head. You have mm -hmm. to um, either spend a point of rage or split your die pool on an athletics check. Uh, what would you like to I do? will just spend the point of rage. All right. Spent that point of rage, so give me a dex athletics roll, difficulty seven. Seven. Dex athletics, a three plus... Well, you gotta three. run on Korra's head as she's running towards Kyle. Oh, so it's seven instead of eight. Okay. Mm-hmm. F71. No, it's T7F1. Yep. And I'm actually going to also use my uh, iron resolve on this one. Okay. As well, just for the two. Oh, so you're gonna spend a point of willpower as well? Yeah. Okay, that works. So that's good call. Two, <laughs> two successes as you launch off Cora's head. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and and attack roll. All right. Uh, where's my attack roll? It's like six, right? D ten F six E one. I got that backwards again. T six F one. Three. That's all rollover. All right. What was my damage? Nine. So it's six plus three is nine. Okay, yeah. Nine, ten, T, six, F, one. Three. Three. That takes him out. And now I need a silk roll. <laughs> uh, from, from me? From you. Uh, okay. As you fall towards the ground. Okay, what's the soak? Uh, just your stamina. Stamina five. Okay. I did that wrong, didn't I? You did. Uh, or sorry, okay. six, but you succeeded. So. Okay. You're good. So you didn't take any damage. Cool. All right. That stinger going for Morgan. I, I assume say Morgan. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dex uh... athletics. Oh god, might help if I spelled roll right, might in it. Uh, dex. <laughs> dex, 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 on athletics. Five. No, that's a four. Uh, diff six, yeah? Yep. Oh, Jesus. So he wasn't going to be able to hit you. No, no, it's not a bot, you're good. So he missed. He, he almost gets you. His, his like, stinging... Fingers are millimeters from your fur as you get away. Thank God. <laughs> All right, and then the next one going for Kyle. And I could have dodged that so easy. Oh, did you not do? You didn't choose to dodge this time, did you? No, I fucked up. All right. All right. Let's see. So, so cruel. It wasn't me. <laughs> So you successfully soaked. Maybe I should stop dodging. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seriously, you get to the red cap as it's coughing, dying, and it just looks at you, its eyes kind of glazing over as it whispers, it starts whispering something to you. She's going to well, lean in and listen. Save Lady Ariel. Save the others. And she's just gonna like partially shake him and say, Where is she? All he, he, he his eyes kind of open slightly and he just goes hidden here in a terrible place, the summoning circle with Yoran Thram. As the blood leaks out their mouth and they pass Your... from this. Yoranthram. Yoranthram. Okay, save Lady Ariel. We have a new quest. Okay. And she'll just give a really sad howl. And now it is Kyle. 
You throw... Uh, oh, is there oh. someone else I can throw her at if I roll willpower? Yes, <laughs> there is. There's two stingers left. Lovely. Then uh, instead of me just throwing her to nowhere, I will try and... <laughs> Switch that up a bit. Uh, and that's diff 8? Yep. And spending a point of willpower. Yes, yes. Success. Would you like to throw her at the one that was attacking you? Um, is there one that hasn't gone yet? Yeah, that's the one that's going to attack uh, Morgan, but that's also the one Morgan's attacking. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I'll right at the one that attacked me, that bastard. Okay. Excellent. So, and what what do I roll for this? I haven't done this in a long time, and it's not I, actually on my sheet. Let me go to our general index and look up pack tactics. Pack, pack tactics, page 300. Come on. There we go. And it's called the forward pass here because, well, they just don't know. <laughs> so you get to make a uh, strength athletics check, difficulty chorus stamina, plus two, I believe. Let's double check. Good. Difficulty chorus stamina is seven. Oh man, so diff nine then. Yes. Oh. It's rough. That's why you usually do it when they're in Hamid form. Oh, no, that yeah. makes sense. But yeah. we're doing it. So. We're doing it. Uh. Let's see if it works. Okay, no, wait, doesn't... wait, wait, wait. Oh. So I can change two ones into twos, and there's one there, so I will change that that one one into a two. Oh right. You you do that, and you successfully oh, throw good. Cora. Cora, you get two <laughs> you get two bonus <laughs> dice on your attack roll as you are flying towards that Fomori. Wonderful! I love it. So we're gonna claw that Fomori. Alright. Uh, seven, so that's nine. Ten, T5, F1. It's all a roll over? Oh. Two, four, sixteen? Sixteen, D10. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is enough to kill him. <laughs> As they are extras. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Alright, this one's they, they can get swing at Morgan. Please no. <laughs> I've already dodged. <laughs> uh, you can dodge again. It's um, minus one die. Oh, is it? Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> you successfully dodged. Huzzah. All right, it's your turn. Yay! Smack it in the face! Smack <laughs> it in the face! <laughs> <laughs> so, with my clave, it would be melee plus... Dexterity? Strength? Oh, dexterity. Uh, strength is uh, for damage. Yeah. Okay, so dex, melee... I can't remember if my clave is plus... No, it's not plus to attack, it's plus to damage. Yep. One, one day I'll learn. Today is not that day. Wow. Oof. That is one egg. Alright, Morgan. What would you like to do this round? Wait, I didn't get to add my clave... Damage. Oh, sorry. I, I that was just attack. I'm sorry. I thought that was uh, yeah. attack. Never mind. I was like, so, hang on a minute. <laughs> no. Uh, so strength plus two plus one rollover. Strength plus two plus one rollover. So five dice again. You are using Krino's form, correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you only have a one in strength? Oh no, I'm sorry. I lied. I lied! <laughs> uh, oh jeez. Six, two... Math! Nine! Nine! Nine dice! <laughs> Bad to say. 
Nine dice. Ah. Four. He's dead. Yay! <laughs> Victory howl! <laughs> As the area has been cleared and you're ready to go into the next staging area so, uh, soon as the other packs wipe away and kill what's left. Searsha is going to growl and like drop the red cap and storm up to uh, Korra. Uh -huh. And she's going to say was there a reason why you killed that red cap? Especially after a gun at me. We explicitly of course I'm going to. told you not to. It was aiming a gun at me. Of course I'm Did going to. Did you look to. at his face? Did you? Why would I? There was uh, a gun aimed cause... at me. I'm going to kill the thing that's aiming a gun at me. Because if you looked at his face, you would have noticed, mm, this is really uncomfortable. That this person might be under control of someone else. Generally, people are uncomfortable the first few times they kill someone else. I can't believe you. I can't believe you are telling me that I shouldn't have killed someone who was attacking us. Maybe focus on the mission. Um, perhaps you should focus on the big things here. Apparently, there's there's a Lady Ariel here, and now I have to save her. A Lady Ariel. Mm hmm. And the darkest, twisted part of this place. Well, we'll probably get there eventually. Something called Euranthium. Hmm. You've got me stumped on what that is. Me too. But Don't the person with that thing. information is dead. Cora's just gonna cross her arms and look at Sirsha like she's dumb, like You could have disarmed being pissed him. off at me. Being pissed off at me isn't gonna change anything. It might. Because you just killed a fae. Do you know how few of them are left? Real quick, special announcement. Malcolm has something to say. What? Don't do drugs. <laughs> Too late! <laughs> <laughs> Too late! Too late! We did that last time! <laughs> it should have been here a couple weeks ago. Look at him come back here! Thanks. <laughs> Five run in. <laughs> no, I don't know how many fewer or how many. Faye are left. But let's go find your princess. The answer is not many. And let's you just killed one. Princess. Or do you want to stand here arguing about this all day? I want you to admit you're wrong. But you'll never do that, will you? Because you're just some Fenris. At that point, I'm just going to go up and just be like, okay, okay, we can argue about this later. Let's just get on with it. Move on, do what we need to do, and we're going to discuss this when we get back. Okay? Cora, look at Susha. Next time I say there's a fae, try to keep your claws off him. Cora, just walk away towards the next room. Are we going to find your princess or what? You begin moving into the other room. As you enter the secondary staging area, and this place is huge. This is where there are bits. I need perception alertness checks from everyone. Difficulty 8, please. Well, this is going to go swimmingly. Alright, somebody's got decent eyes. Hey, I am blind as a bat. <laughs> You actually botched that. Yeah, that's a botch. Yeah, he did. He botched. Oh. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, too oh, great. Guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm blind. Sirsha, you are able to catch everyone who didn't botch and the rest of the group. There are automated guns in this room on the walls. Unfortunately, Roy and Cora don't see them, and these guns 
fire off several shots at them. Oh. Great! So is it possible for Searsha to, like, grab Cora by the shoulder scruff and yank her down? Not in this case. That's the, uh, that's the penalty of her botch. Mm -hmm. But you were able to save everyone else. Hooray! From the kill- from the initial firing. So, that's one rollover. You get to roll Soak, though. Yep. Soak is stamina. Yep, and don't forget your- uh, did you have troll skin activated, Cora? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, don't forget to roll that. So that's four for Cora. Let me see. Where is my stats for troll skin? Four roll over. Is that four for both? No, that's uh, that was Cora's. I'm rolling yours now. Okay. That was the attack roll. Oh, so we're getting hit three times each. No, no, you're getting hit. Uh, this is just each one different for you. So Cora's. Oh. It rolled four damage for Cora, and it rolled five damage for Roy. I rolled attack rolls, not damage rolls first. Did you want me to roll troll skin? I thought you already rolled it. I did. I don't remember what it was. Killing me, Sam. I think you got like two successes, yeah. so we'll go with that. Okay. Hey, I so you took one. So you take four points of lethal damage. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Which one's lethal? The that's, star. That's the X. X. Which means you are able to regenerate. Two, three. I took one. So okay. you took one. Four. This Oof. room has several. This room has already five flyers in the air. Two will be on your guys' group. And there are ten stingers, three who are on your group, as well as the guns still firing. One gun will be firing on, upon your group. So you'll have to try and break those guns if you want them to stop shooting at you. Now, are these guns held by people, or...? No, they're automated weapons. Okay. Like, they're remote-controlled. Someone want to throw me at a gun? Tear it down. So we'll keep the same initiative order for everyone, and I'm just going to roll the different... No! (laughs) Okay, roll initiative, everyone. No, I like my (laughs) (laughs) dish. I, for one, relish in the idea of having a better initiative. That's for the guns. God. And I said two flyers and three stingers. Fucking kidding me. Oh, oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you make everyone reroll initiative. <laughs> God. Mine is better, Sam. though, so I'm not actually bitter. Not actually bitter. Well... Oh, okay. It's not too bad. That, uh... That roll is thanks to Spirit of the Fray. Jesus Christ. So good. 26 initiative. Yeah. I can get up to 27. Yeah, Yeah. your character is... bullshit when it comes to initiative. I love it. (laughs) Keegan? (laughs) Yeah? Can I activate... Parabellum, since we got shot at as we walked in this room, like, does that count as them initiating the fight? I think so, yes. That's lovely. For this What's fight, Parabellum? Yeah. Uh, My so I spend a point of rage, and then I get one dot of strength and one dot of dex when attacking the enemy that fired the first shot, or any mm-hmm. enemy that has inflicted an injury on a member of my pack. Oh, nice. Alright, so core is at the top. Um, um, was someone gonna throw me at one of the guns, or am I gonna attack something else? You should probably just walk at it since you're going first. So fast. Well, I feel like if it's um if it's too high for me to reach. No, it's not too high. It's on ground. Oh. It's at ground level. Oh, okay. They're like gas um, guns, kick- like you remember, like from the Alien movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like those. Over. Okay. Is there an enemy next to the gun? Um, no, they're, they're, they're avoiding the guns because they're letting the guns pepper people who are entering and they don't want to mm. get hit, right? Fair enough. I don't know if there was someone, like, on the side of it or behind it or something. Nope. 
because like I said I completely, completely automated. Mm -hmm. Um. What is the role to throw something? Anything? It would be uh, Dex Athletics, I believe. Okay, so we are set. Actually, one last thing. Secret rolls. Hmm? Secret rolls. Secret rolls. We do not approve of your secret rolls. That's, no. you know what that's called? Too damn bad. <laughs> A shame. <laughs> I was gonna say tough shit, but uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright. All right. First sticker guy is gonna go for uh, Roy, who has just been shot. Yay. Nice. Sirsha, what are you gonna do? I am gonna go after the stinger that's going after Roy. You're welcome. <laughs> Roy, you have a couple options. Uh, if you attack or do anything this round, uh, or do something other than dodge, you can, um, you'll have to make a difficulty 8 stamina roll to regenerate a point of damage, or if you choose to, like, duck and hide and concentrate for the turn, you can just heal that point of damage. So, just an FYI. I will, I will do the latter. Okay, so hiding. Uh, you are behind some stuff so that the guns can't hit you this round, so no one can shoot you. Great. This Morgan? is where you lob a grenade at me. Well, there's one coming at you to sting you, and if he succeeds, like no amount of cover is going to stop someone from walking around it and going, Hi. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yeah, he's not, unfortunately, he's not like a T-Rex and can't, you know. <laughs> his, vision, his vision is not based on movement. Sadly. So, Morgan? Um, the automatic guns, can I see anything in the room that would indicate they are running off, like, a system or, you know, like a power source or anything like that that can be deactivated or destroyed that would therefore remove all of the guns in play at once? You can do a perception technology to put Thank that together. That's what I wanted to hear. Alright, so we'll get to that, so... Stinger 2 is gonna... Oh, and I'm dodging. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm dodging. <laughs> Stinger 2 is gonna go for Kyle. Flyer 1 is going to take a couple shots at Morgan. St oh, not. Stinger 1 is going to uh, fire or go after... Sorsha? Or Sirsha? The gun is going to continue to fire at Cora. Of course it will. Kyle? Um, right now it's only the two guns that have hurt my party, right? Correct. Okay. Um, and are there more enemies to declare their actions after me? Uh, yes. One more. A flyer. Okay. Um... And is that flyer within range right now? No, they're already flying. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to attack one of the stingers that is not um, being attacked already. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that would be stinger two. Perfect. I will slash him good and uh, also dodge. Okay. Flyer two is going to fire their gun at Korra. Cool. As she is the big mountain person. It is true. All right, Cora. Um, how far away is the flyer that's shooting me? He is about, I would say, maybe twenty yards in uh high and about ten yards away. Okay. Would it be feasible? to rip the gun out of the wall and throw it at the f flyer shooting at me. You will have to make a successful strength throw. Yeah, and, then make, 
okay. and then make the attack roll separately. So you will have to spend rage or split your die pool. Okay, um, I'll spend rage, and also nothing else is attacking me, is it? Uh, just the flyer. Just the flyer. Okay, or, no, uh, the gun and the gun is firing at you, obviously. Well, yeah, and I I can't dodge the, either of those, can I? Oh, well, you could dodge the gun if you went up to attack it, because you'd be close enough to attempt a dodge roll. Um, yeah, I guess I'll spend a couple rage and dodge, rip the gun out of the wall, and hurl it at the flyer. Okay, the you will need a total of three successes on your strength roll to rip it out of the wall. Okay. At difficulty seven. Okay. Oh, eight, D10, D7, F1. Please. Please. Yeah! You successfully rip it out. Now I need you to roll a dex athletics check. Difficulty eight, as this is a very heavy improvised weapon. And do I get those three extra die from Morgan? Uh, no, that's passed, because that was a per-round oh. basis. Oh, that was a per-round basis, okay. Yep, so um. it went three, then two, then one, and so enough time has elapsed that you don't get that bonus anymore. Okay, and it's just the dex roll? It's dex athletics. Dex athletics, so four. Diff eight. Seven. Oh, seven, D10, T8, F1. Yee! Okay. Right. You hit... Roll just strength. Just strength. Eight, D, ten. Uh, no? Well, you got one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, and four. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> fuck. And so you did. Four bashing that has converted into lethal. Some has converted into lethal. So it is the flyer's turn. He gets a minus uh, penalty on his die roll, and you are unable to dodge this, Cora. I'll soak it though. Nope. 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 As a nope. silver bullet comes whizzing by your ear oh, and hits the ground behind you. Oh, that's okay though. It missed you though. Yes, it did. She'll roar back at it. All right. Kyle? All right. Uh, let's claw that guy. Oof. You hit. Nothing on the soak, though. He's dead. Okay, everything's fine anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no one panic. So the one that was coming after Saoirse is gone. One, the flyer's shooting at Morgan, who cannot dodge. That hits, but she is able to soak. Yay. Roll that stamina. Roll that stamina. Might help if I was on the right thing. Uh, Krino stamina? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, so another three. Yep. Eh. So you <laughs> took three lethal. Ow. Oh, God. I don't like having to put damage down because I don't know what the fuck I'm putting. There we go, that'll do. Uh, I, I feel that. X. Yeah. Uh, I have two X's. So the one next one's coming for Kyle. Is this the gunshot? No, this is a claw. Uh, he missed, uh, though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. All right, Morgan, check that tech. Yeah. Uh, same difference as usual, yeah? Yep. Yeah, thank you. Four. You do see a power cord that leads to an area that might be able to shut down some of the guns in this room and the next. Marvelous. I will keep an eye on that because that is getting yanked out on my next turn. Roy, you're hiding and you regenerate one point of lethal damage. Yay! <laughs> Saoirse, it is your turn. All right. She was attacking the one attacking Roy. Yep, who goes right after you. You guys used up all your good rolls at the start of the game. We still have mulligans, guys. <laughs> all right. Oh, shit. We could have mulliganed our perception. Five. 
He's dead. <laughs> Woohoo. Well done. And so, Sirsha, what are you going to do this round? Uh, how many of them are up? Uh, there's a stinger left and two flyers. Um, there are also crates around here that you can possibly chuck. All right, then she'll grab a crate and throw it out one of them. Uh, which one, a stinger or one of the flyers? The flyers. Okay, sounds good. Uh, the one Cora hit or a fresh one? Uh, the one Cora hit. All right. Roy, you can keep hiding and keep healing if you so choose. Um, no, I think I'm going to get out on this one. Okay. Uh, I want to shift into Lupus. Okay. And charge at whoever's close by. Okay, that'd be Stinger too. Okay. And I would bite them. Are you going to okay. use a Rage to change? Yes. Okay, so Rage to change... To, and then a run to bite. And how many rages can I use per turn? Half your permanent roundup. So two. Okay. And then I'm going to spend a point of rage to dodge if I can. Okay. That works. Morgan? I'm going to yank the power cord out that I've been staring at with intent. Okay. Cool. Stinger 2 notices Roy coming at him, so he's going to try and hit Roy. The one, the fresh flyer is going to fire its gun at Kyle. Kyle. Um, Cora, wanna fastball again? Hell yeah. Wanna do it at the one that's trying to shoot me? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. So the one that is still flying that was gonna attack Cora is gonna fire at Cora again, and they're gonna spend a point of willpower. To do what? To get an auto, auto success. Oh. So oh, four good. successes. Uh oh. Sexy. Don't make me throw your dead body at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Only one egg. As the bullet pierces through your armor and explodes out the other side as you see burnt blood splash upon the floor. That's the star, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Kyle. All right. Let's throw you. Um, nine. What? Yes, yes. But I guess I I want to fully understand um how Parabellum might work with this. I okay. guess. Okay. Uh, another thing that could have happened, but Cora did not uh, announce it, is she could have spent a point of rage, or she could have insta shifted back to human, and then insta oh, and then used rage to insta shift into Krynos mid air. <laughs> Yeah, keep forgetting to do that. That Sorry. is literally the point of it, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what sounds, was your question? Sounds like a stargazer kind of thing. Um, my question is like, I get an extra dot of strength and dex when attacking the enemy that fired shot, uh, the first shot, or any character that has inflicted in injury on one of my pack. Okay. Does that include, like, an extra point of strength for the fastball special? Because it's like, yes. I'm kind of attacking him. Yeah, it's it a does? strength. Yeah, it will count on this case. Okay, wonderful. Uh, and now I need to find wherever the hell I put my fastball special roll, because I don't remember. No, oh, it was just strength athletics, wasn't it? Yep. Diff 9. Okay. Woo! Lovely. <laughs> Alright, so you succeeded. Cora, you get a Two bonus dice to the attack. Thanks All to right, momentum. Gonna... Yay, momentum. We're going to claw at him. D10. That's four rollover. Oh, plus two. Plus two extra dice, yep. Yeah. Or no, that was on the attack roll. The plus two. Oh, was it? Oh, well. Yeah. You killed him. Oh, I killed him. And All so right. for landing? Yep. You succeeded. Fantastic. Stinger's going for Roy. You were dodging, I believe. I am. That's just what, uh, Dex Athletics? Dex Athletics, diff six. Four, three, seven. You success successfully dodged. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Morgan, I need a pure strength roll. A pure strength roll. Oh boy. Diff six. Okay. Whoa. Oh. 
you rip the cord out as the other gun that was firing on the other pack just stops. And my job is done. <laughs> Roy, go for your attack. Ooh. Roll. Dex brawl. That's four and three is seven. One. Um, for bite, isn't it minus one to difficulty? Yeah, it's diff five. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Two. All right, roll, uh, so that's all roll over. Sorry. So, two plus your lupus. I'm, I did mean to say his bow, not lupus. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm, I do apologize about that. I'm still learning the the wolf forms. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what, that's strength is five. Plus one bonus plus die for my damage. Yeah, so that's five, six, seven, eight. Seven. He's dead. Oof. Woo! All right. Sirsha, I need a dex athletics roll, please. Or strength uh, strength athletics to pick it up, and then dex athletics to, to huck it. Or, no, just dex athletics. You're strong enough in Krinos for the weight of the crate, so. Okay. Uh, so dex athletics. Diff set up. Six, seven, diff seven. Two rollover. So just strength plus the rollover. So three, and that is enough to kill it as it splats against the wall. Yeah. The others finish off as fights with rooftops goes. Good. I'm going to take Threadweaver and <clears throat> uh, paints with Twilight into the Umbra now. The rest of you continue the mission. The next room is the um, the sleeping quarters, right? No, you've got way no. more to go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where are we? Can we in the secondary storage. repaste? So you're in room three. The living quarters is room eight. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're only in room three? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can I take a moment to recover? Yeah, you or... have to spend a moment to heal all your lethal. Uh, I assume Morgan's doing the same. Yep. Is there anything I can heal? I've got two X's and a star. The X's heal. The star star is not. Okay. I'm still having a hard time with the names of the types of damage. Sorry. Ah, it's okay. Ow. The other members of the street sweepers give Terrence a hug as... Him and Threadweaver get ready to pass into the Ember. She points to the, she puts a mirror up, and you notice that her arm does something interesting, where it opens up and you see it actually playing and plucking at the pattern webs between this world and the next, allowing them to pass over easier in this weaver-infested area. Ooh, we'll have to get you one of those arms. I would love one of those arms. Right now, tear the fucker off. Just <laughs> hmm? That's a bit extreme for, for right this moment. <laughs> that's a bit extreme. We should wish. <laughs> She's a get. Nothing is too extreme. Uh, I suppose so. You start heading to the north with the other members of the street sweepers as the mountain guard turn back and head back the way they came, or stay in this room to try and prevent any stragglers. All right. All right. Can so we we'll be skip... a bit? Uh, well, yes. I was, I was going to say, can we be a bit more aware of possible Gatling gun type of hidden Traps. guns? Yeah. Yes, perception alertness. All right. I don't want to get hit again. That's fair. Don't worry, I have enough eyes for everyone. <laughs> we love your eyes. <laughs> hey, I can see again. Hooray! <laughs> and I will shift back into Krynos before we move on. Okay. It's a perception alertness. Yep, perception alertness. So you're all seeing similar kind of things. There's additional traps, there's explosives and trip wires that you are now avoiding. Oh, can I take the explosives with me? 
Uh, like that disarm would, them? That would require a uh, two rolls. It would require a technology roll and a crafts roll. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to blow up in my face. That is what a bot like, would do. I feel like I could do it. You should do, do it. Technology and crafts? Yeah, I have the technology. I don't have the crafts, but I have technology. Mm. Okay. It would be an intelligence technology to do the initial uh, halt on the systems and then a dexterity crafts to pull them up safely. I've got five index crafts. <laughs> That will, roll will be worthless if the technology roll fails. Yes. Yeah. Can we not work on this as a team? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like teamwork would be real good right about now. Starts with you. Teamwork Start makes me. the dream work. How do you have so little intelligence, and yet you have technology? You <laughs> <laughs> don't need intelligence to be able to work technology. Idiot savant. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, stay far away. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away too. She, you, you, she, you hear a click, click, click as the lights turn from green to red and then turn dark. Huh. Just a little bit like, uh, I think that's good. Uh, my turn. Yeah. Does anyone have higher than five index crafts? No. <laughs> Let's no. see. Oh, uh, sorry, six. Because I'm no. still in Krynos. Uh, apparently... the, dif the difficulty goes up because you're your oh, giant, that's right. meaty Krynos <laughs> that's, what was, that's what I was about to say. I'm like, apparently my dex is better in uh, in Krynos than it is in you, Hamid. Wow. You, you are more dexterous in general for moving your body, but for like very small things, okay. your hands are bigger so that you have more dice, but you yeah, also have higher nice. difficulty. Okay, we'll insta-shift a Hamid. Okay. Just... Anyone have higher than five? Nope. All right. Five D ten. Botch. 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 Far away. This is Sam yeah. we're talking about. It's completely li likely and possible. Oh Ooh. yeah! I did it. You did pull it. the explosive off. We did a thing. High five, Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, Morgan's one intelligence makes her high-five the hand with the explosive in it. Boom! <laughs> no, you don't get a pull that on me. You don't get a pull. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we will streamline combat a little bit so that it does not get tedious. Oh, that's what I was wanting to use the explosive for. <laughs> yeah, let's check that's out in the room. <laughs> that's fair. As you're getting into the next room, Sirsha, you get the same sensation from another normal-looking human, as do you, Morgan. I'm gonna look with my special eyes. As the glamour dissipates and you see the same kind of appearance, it is another red cap. Sirsha is going to turn to the group, <clears throat> hold up a finger, and say, there's another red cap. Don't kill him this time. Carl will hold up her hands. Hmm? Won't even look at him. What? I mean... You, you can think disarm you could, like, him. Well, wouldn't it be more helpful to, like, yell at him to not shoot at us? Not when you're compelled. What, is he... Alright, so, like, is he supernaturally compelled? Or is he compelled because they have that lady? Well, I, I don't know. Well, then it won't hurt to try. Just don't kill him. Okay, that's... Look, I'm not gonna try... I'm going to try not to kill him. All I'm saying is that the minimum you could do is, like, mention this lady's name and maybe he won't shoot at us. She nods. And then also turns to Roy and says, This means no bombs. I mean... No. Not even on the other side of the room? No. Spoil sport. All right. Let's do it. So you do it. All right. So you, you call out as he hears the name and he nods and you see his hand go down to the gun as he's shaking. Attempting a willpower roll to not shoot at you, though it seems difficult. All right. Everyone just give me a 
Dex Brawl, and we'll see how many go down in this round. And I'll do a... And Sergio will be looking to specifically, like, grapple and disarm the okay. red cap. Should I uh, use my Razor Claws difficulty 5 or just standard difficulty 6? Uh, it was just standard difficulty 6, so just general mm -hmm. combat actions. Okay. As you destroy the Fomori in that room with your <laughs> companions. Fantastic. As the red cap goes... Please stop me. As you all see his face shift into a gray, muddy thing with his teeth coming out as he's going off to bite at Saoirse as she's getting closer. As you just hear him going, please stop me! Can I pull out my rope and bind him up? Yes, you can. All right, I'll do that. You do that as he collapses, as you see his teeth just chomping away. You're hungry, lads. No, it's a gift of the red calves. It's an ancient contract. What contract? Yes, you have the blood of Macfion in you. As the blood of Macfion made pacts with the Seely Court, so too did the White Howlers make pacts with the Unseely. The contracts never broke. Despite your desires to escape it. Does that mean there's, uh, spirals here? One. Where? It's in the back. They show us in the worst room of them all. If you go past the living quarters, there's a lab. And behind that is an even worse lab. There's a door somewhere in there where they're holding our, our lady. And using her to reach out to all of her contacts and bind us to the ancient pacts. Searsha's going to nod and say, if we leave you in this room, are you going to follow us? There's a good chance. It's best if you knock me out. Avoid the teeth. Because I might bite your fucking hand off. And with that, I'll knock him out. Boom. Better to not give him any sort of heads up. Alright. We should head there. If there is a spiral around, we've, well, we've got to kill him. With him being uh, unconscious, I'm going to drag him off into the corner and throw whatever I can over him and unbind him and take my rope with me. Okay. Morgan, can I get a charisma performance check just so that you can give a howl to your companions that it's time for them to move uh, down the hall so that they can move to the next staging area? I can indeed. No, I can't. <laughs> One success is all you needed. Thank God for that. <laughs> as you give the howl and you hear a howl in response back as the members of the mountain guard move back one room and you go into the next. The Bane mixing room is mostly abandoned as since last time you kind of destroyed it. Uh -huh. There's only a few repairmen here, humans, as they see you all and frenzy from the delirium as they start moving down south and, uh, to try and escape you. Good. As you hear their, scream, their death screams as the mountain guard take them out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle was like, wait, there it is. <laughs> Shh. You can hear the exact moment their hope breaks. Ah! <laughs> 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 okay, let's... Uh... After the engineers are killed, you guys start... Excuse me, moving on to the next room. This is a room you guys actually haven't entered before. As you go in, you actually see several scrags manifest in the physical realm in... Oh no, you have been in this room. Several scrags manifest in the physical realm as their bodies are being broken down. Hmm. Once again, only a few Fomorian regular humans here. 
What were you going to ask uh, Sam and Tyler? I was going to ask if this is like where they had all of those, um, I don't know, like back to tanks. Let's let's go with no, that. No, 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 not that one. This one's got like <laughs> okay. more like these steaming like hot hot tanks where the veins are being dropped in and their bodies are being boiled away into like a kind of soup that's being oh, piped yes. out. Yes. Yes, that's right. Okay. It is here that you re-meet with the mountain guard, and you guys head north to the room that had about 10 or 15 for more by themselves, and you guys just clean house. Hooray! Before you finally start heading towards the living quarters. Now, is this all in the vague direction of where we're, uh, Lady Ariel is? Yes, uh, so the red cap you just talked to mentioned that there's a lab, uh -huh. and then north of that lab is another lab, and then he says there's a hidden door in that lab that will lead to her. Okay. Have you mentioned it to anyone else? No, you were all there. You all heard him. I mean, like, the mountain guard and... Uh, you guys there's... have not yet. <laughs> okay. Searsha would probably offer that information, because it probably pertains to them. And if they could all save some, you know, spirits, fey, it would probably be a good idea. Bloodwind will look at you. The fair folk have done their services for the Fenner, though they've also done their disservices too. However, if they are in the worm's clutches and wish not to be, it is our sacred duty to stop them. Thank you. Perhaps you should go first. You and the other one, as he points to Morgan. Well, she'll go ahead. Like, can he not remember my name? No? Cool. The late one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, do you know what? This one, it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> you, you don't need to remember my name. Uh, so, <laughs> Searsha will go ahead and lead the way. Okay. As you get to the living quarters, I need both of you to once again do a perception, uh, occult. Difficulty seven, please. Mm -hmm. For Morgan and Saoirse. I would you. I get five. Well, that's better than what I was expecting, two. Hey, you did it! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Morgan, you get the sense that there's several of that same kind of kin feeling in this air in the living quarters. It's likely that you'll have to be cautious going through if you want to try and save any red caps. Okay, I will. I will look at Sersha and and just be like, there, there are definitely more red caps uh, that way. Uh, we may want to try and avoid. Uh, forcing them to fight us. Agreed. Bloodwind looks at you and goes, does that mean that we should be more cautious going room for, to room here, then? That is exactly what I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. Very well. They're being compelled. Yes. Oh. As he turns, he turns and looks at Roy. You. Yes. Do you have the gift to smell the worm? I do. Smell for it. If they are being compelled by the worm against their will, then the worm taint will not be as heavy upon them. Uh, I go ahead and smell for the worm. Alright. Uh, what Perception, do I roll for that? Perception Occult Difficulty 6, please. Perception Occult 10. Well, I am going to mulligan. Okay. Because I haven't had a need to do that just yet. Sounds good. There we go. You're able to sense all the rooms that have the worm taint in it. As Bloodwind goes, you kn you have the rooms? I do. Good. They seem to be distracted. At least, I hope so. Take your, take your wolf skin and mark the doors. My wolf skin? I will shift into his bow and rub up against the doors. No, he wants you to shift into lupus because you'll be small and unnoticed because oh. your hispo will poke out from their windows. Lupus okay. will be short enough to not be seen. I guess I will do that then. I'm just wondering if he's asking us to 
piss on the walls. He is absolutely asking you to piss on the walls. <laughs> Good old buddy, old Paolo friend. That's uh, new to me, but I've got to accept my wolf heart. It means that in Krino's form, you can smell which door is from Mori and which door is not, which means you're more likely to spare the ones who come out of rooms that don't smell of worm taint. Okay, well then I will do that. Okay. Two, two full bladders later, uh, you return <laughs> to the group, and they're ready. Uh, give me combat rolls, dex brawl, and this will represent how well you do. Lowest roll gets a surprise. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't roll so well this time. <laughs> oh no. Get fucked. Oh, huh? Cora. <laughs> um, Kyle. Um, Kyle. <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you definitely do not have that many dice. I don't know if you can see my character sheet. <laughs> Kyle there, is now I edited it to look right. Kyle uh, is and now it looks like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do worse than that, oh. so that's fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, technically you could botch, but... <laughs> I, I didn't, and therefore... <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Lord. Uh, Kyle... I thought it was gonna be me for a minute. <laughs> Uh, one of them had a loaded silver gun, so you did take two points of aggravated damage. Can I try and soak it? No, it's a silver. No, silver bullet. Oh, it's... Luna's armor. Oh, yes, baby. you can roll, um, <laughs> you can roll <laughs> just your Luna's armor soak. So actually, you were probably the best one to be shot at. <laughs> yes. Uh, is this six or eight? Uh, I believe it's six. No, I think it's eight for silver. Okay, I can. I'll read later, but I'll just roll that. Damn it! So, two, <laughs> two egg. Don't worry, you got him back. I guess that's what counts. I was about to say, for all future reference, we just use Kyle as a as a shield, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> you return. You. Uh, it is at this point that the mountain guard get um. And the street sweepers get ready to pass into the Umbra to fight that worm uh, spirit that you guys came across from last time. Oh, yeah. Bloodwind turns and goes, May the mother guide your fangs. Is... Nod? Is that a lupus thing? That's a Fenrir thing, more so. That's a Fenrir Ooh. thing? Is there a return? Uh, you could ta You can make one up. I'm not, gonna... <laughs> that I'm not that clever right now. Come on, right. come on, Sam. Uh... Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Sam. Uh... Sam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just getting bullied tonight. Jeez. I just thought of something, but it's completely irrelevant. What? <laughs> <laughs> just like, just his response, like um. My response to him would just be, "Me, your, mo my, me, your martini, be shaken and not stirred." <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one that always happened because I had I played with people who like came from a Catholic background. It's like, "May Gaia be with you and also with you," <laughs> like immediately, <laughs> like without thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I am I am absolutely just returning to blood when <laughs> may a martini be shaken and not stirred. <laughs> As he looks and go he looks to see if it, is that a Fiana thing? <laughs> no, that's a British thing. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> Would hoping that, you know, Fenrir is with him. Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. Do you wish him good luck? I do. Uh and Silver Scribe goes See you guys on the other side. And they pass into the Umbra. Live, hopefully. Guy makes no promises, but yes, I'm hoping to. I hope to see you guys too. And she pats you on the shoulder with a nice kind of stiff pat with a smile. Have fun. 
Try not to die, or be sucked into the abyss, or the atrocity realm, or really anywhere else. Anywhere. <laughs> and so they go, and you guys are left alone to your own devices. Time to go save some Fae! And you get into the research lab, as you do see several more from more being created. You see one different this time. It's human, vaguely human-shaped, covered with black scales, large wings, chitin-like armor, and incredible strength. As you see the doctors uh, seeming to work on it, you do see the name Fomoriarch above it. Moriarch. Anyone know what that is? You don't. Like, an archdevil. Could be like an archdevil. Just a higher rank in Fomori. Hmm. And as you no? see it bubbling in its tube, as the doctors turn and are just like, Wah! And... I realized they were Waluigi. Wah! <laughs> 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 Can um... I scream back at them? Yeah. Alright, I will do that, but in a much deeper voice and a much louder tone. So, like, roaring. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, when you, when you want to simplify it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for it to be a murder hobo. Yep, as you start just taking him down. Got a murder hobo. It as well here. as the weird Famori. Mm-hmm. The weird Arch Pomori. So. <clears throat> as you get closer to it, you see all the powers suck back into it. It looks human before you get to the tank. Peer into the tank. It just looks human. Yeah. Does it <laughs> feel fayish? It does not feel fayish. How thick is the glass? It's fairly thick, like it's it's got some heft to it. You can check it out though. So uh, she wants to like knock on it, see if she can get its attention. As it opens its eyes and it reaches out and places its hand. Who are you? As it's got a tube in its mouth and points to the tube. Can she climb on top of the tank? Mm-hmm. There's a computer there too, uh, with its stats. Ooh, a computer, you say? A <laughs> computer. And you said with its stats? So, like, two strength, three dex? Not quite like that, no. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna investigate the computer. Can I get an intelligence computers check? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot. Sorry, Keegan. <laughs> she got me. Maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> oh, Jesus wept. Why? Why is it like this? Uh, I'm mulligan gonna mulligan. Chair. I'm gonna mulligan, right? I'm actually gonna use it. You sound, so, I'm not having... you sound so defeated. <laughs> okay, so this, this has to be better than zero. It was a one. That's good enough. <laughs> okay. For more arc test number 335. After consuming its brethren in the tank, after they were repurposed for parts to try and create this one, success. Powers bestowed bestial mutation, armored skin, claws and fangs, exoskeleton, wings, functionally sane. Powers concealable, success. Data has been stored in mainframe in main facility. Subject 35A may have been helpful with genetic material injected into Femorark subject. More studies needed. Keep the subject alive for more bio material for future Femorark studies. Do you share this with the class? I look down at the computer screen, I look back at the tank, I look down at the computer screen, I look at everyone else, I look to the tank, I look to the computer screen. And then I looked at everyone and go, I haven't got a fucking clue what this is talking about. It's going I'll on about over. It's going on about powers, it's going on about it being functionally sane, it's going on about being injected. I, I, honestly, I don't know, just can we can we put it out with misery humanely? 
There is a button that says purge. I'm just looking at the button that says purge, looking at the, the, the tank, looking at them, looking at the button that says purge. Uh, don't. It. don't do it, I will. Press it. Do it. Wait. I mean, it's got, like, if it, it might be sane, and I air quote sane. It might be sane, but looking at the weird gobbledygook of things it can do, hell, if this got out, oof, no. You did say functionally sane, so that doesn't necessarily mean it's sane. Well, yeah, and they also said something about, uh, keep alive for further, ah, uh, something over there. They want it alive. Wherever it dwells, wherever it breeds, it is being used to create more. That is true, and I smack the purge button with my fist. Oh! <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> I was going to ask it questions. Nah, it's got a tube in its mouth and I ain't letting it out. It can still answer yes or no. Yeah. As, as you see it shaking, you see the something getting injected in as the thing kind of shrieks as its powers all activate, and you see its flesh slop off in this horrible black goop that is pushed into a vial that is labeled. Break the break the vial. You break the vial, yeah. and the goop just starts bleeding out. Good. Oh, you should have. You should. Uh, you shouldn't have done that. That was no. A, that, that was, was a, a dumb decision. That was dumb. Even I know that was dumb. You're letting the weird black goop sit on the. Oh man. Now, now the goop is just here. Now we got. Has anyone like, got? taking it somewhere. And... Has anyone got a lighter? I feel like we should at least burn oh, this. Um. Let me. Let me sense worm, since it's you know right there. Diff five. Uh, so that's four D ten T five. Wow. Okay. It just blasts you. Some nose hairs kind of burn up in your your nostrils, and the worm taint is just there. Uh, that's definitely. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, I I can't smell. Um, that's definitely worm. Well, you made the mess. You have to clean it up. Uh, can I find a lighter? Sure. Does anyone know to enough about computers to see if we can save any of this information and take it with us? It would be very difficult. Okay. You'll have to memorize it. Oh, um. okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey! So uh, that's what Kyle's for. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a role for when it's under duress, though. Are we under duress? I mean, uh, we're yes. kind of on it. You're kind of under. It. Yeah, you're a little under duress. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's perception alertness diff six. Yep. I think. Well, let's just go with that, and if it's wrong, we'll, re we'll just remember it for next time. Okay. It's on page 476 if you want to check that out while I All right. roll away. Do, do, do. 476. Not 4766. Mm -hmm. That is an absurd <laughs> page number. Yes, okay. far too many. Ooh. All right. Eidetic memory. It is perception alertness, difficulty six. Wonderful. You succeeded. You have memorized. Ooh. And there is a door to the north. Was that the door we're supposed to go through? That's the only door here. Okay. Wait, didn't they say Isn't there was a, there secret a hidden door? one? He yeah. said that there was a lab and then another lab beyond that lab, and then there was a secret door oh, in the other lab. Okay. Did I ever find anything to burn that material? Yeah, there's chemicals everywhere. Cool. And those hey. chemicals create an even worse thing. This is mm -hmm. how you get Godzilla. <laughs> That's perfect. That's what I want. <laughs> you guys head up to the next one. There's more scientists. You do see something a little sad. It is the Fomori that you guys captured last time, as you see his body being breaking, broken down to create more of that kind of goo, and is being placed in vials as he's scratching at his own tank trying to get out. What a shame. There are several Fomori like this, whose bodies are being broken down into some sort of drug with scientists looking them over. You also see several things labeled Fomorarch Failure 1 through 8, and Fomorarch Perspective, number two with the scientists working as well as a human on an operating table with their guts strewn out but alive uh perception alertness on the guy 
have eyes for days. Uh. <laughs> oh, so do I. Do, 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 do. Nope. <laughs> Zero eyes. <laughs> Zero and no, eyes. No, and no nose. But so everyone but Morgan notices that the guy on the table is actually Glabro. And that's how they're keeping him alive. His body's constantly regenerating, and then machinery is taking biological samples and injecting them into the Femorarch Perspectives tank. Uh, sen sense worm. Roy, right sense now. worm. <laughs> uh, uh, three for sense worm. This whole place reeks of the worm. Getting an individual smell from any individual is going to be impossible. The fact is that it smells like. Cora is smells of the worm. Morgan smells of the worm. Kyle smells of the worm. Um, can I just charge them and sniff, like right there? You can try that. Yeah. As the scientists will... turn and you see one of them, like th they freak out, but they actually have some sanity as they pull out guns. I'll just put uh, knock them away. Okay. Give me a strength check, please. And crying. How are they not like running away in delirium? It's a good question. You just wanted a strength check, right? Yep. Uh, standard difficulty. Yep. Yeah, you knock them away. <laughs> they fly across the room. I hope wow. they get unconscious from hitting the wall. No, but their Holy guns shit. fly across, fly from their hands. You get up to the. I... You get up to the guy as he's like, brother. Me. Um, it's to murder. Your your sacrifice will not be in vain, and I will wait. Wait, wait. wait, wait. Can he be healed? <laughs> because <sighs> we can heal people. Can we just stuff all his organs in? <laughs> yes. And heal him. <laughs> you can absolutely do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking murderer. <laughs> I was gonna put him out of his misery. Yeah, me too. So he can keep living and have a family and like, you know. <laughs> I don't think he can have a family at this point, but okay. That's two very different uh, stances here. Murder and... Whoa. You know, save. Whoa. I mean, uh, I don't know murder? what you're saying, Warfall. I was also going for murder. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, like, make sure that he was, you know... Comfortable and die. Uh, I'm gonna honored. stuff his organs back in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, make sure what? they're in the right place. His the, uh, his the human stomach. will take care of that. <laughs> All right. It's dip, his his rage is uh, five, so diff five. Okay. Oh. As you see, the well the organs re place themselves in the correct places as this wound stitches up. As he goes, get the manacles off. They have silver in the. In them, if I shift, they'll rip through me. Uh, Sersha will go ahead and check the bodies for keys. Okay. There's still more scientists. It wasn't just those two. Oh. oh. Gotta murder him real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> One's right, going to attempt something now. real quick. Can it not? No. Oh. He fails. So it's okay. Ow. He not. <laughs> He was la launching himself at the keyboard to hit the button to let all of the uh, Fomorarch failures out of their tank. We can't have that. Uh, I'm going to activate my Earring of Truth, and okay. then I'm going to ask the guy who's laying there if he's a spiral or not. Just in case. Gotta okay. be sure. Good idea. Oh, it didn't roll. I fucked up in some way. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's just slow. <laughs> oh. As... Okay, so it activates... Okay. As he, he looks at you and goes, the hell is a spiral? And that is the truth. Oh, oh no. are, are you corrupted by the worm? <laughs> <laughs> what is a worm? As he goes, what? Is that also a truth? Yeah. His confusion, Good enough. His confusion ask, is genuine. Ask him if he's Garu. Yeah, do you know what a Garu is, actually? I'll just go... As he goes, yeah, those were those, uh... 
those things trying to stop us, trying to stop progress in human evolution. Ah, uh, uh, wish you mm. didn't say that. <laughs> Look, we can probably fix this one. <laughs> we couldn't fix the... Well, but he's. This Do you is... see what happened to the last one? You said you could probably fix. No, but this is a this is Garu, right? Like, <laughs> this is this is one of our own kind. Oh, we the can't guy fix the guy, more. The guy on right? the ground is not a Garu. No, he's say he's he doesn't know what a Garu is. He's saying that Garu he, he's heard of Garu. The people who are getting in the way of human. I progress. thought this was the one in the shackles. Oh no, sorry, I mis, mis I I misunderstood. I oh yeah, okay. That okay. makes okay. so much them. sense. They're okay. terrible. Okay, no, no, the one goes. I'm not a spiral. I'm a child of Gaia. And that is good. Uh, perfect. <laughs> Let's free him. Sorry, I should have been clear. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, because it was mentioned by the people being flung and the guy trying to hit the button. Mm -hmm. No, that, that makes yeah. sense. So that my that fault. <laughs> nope, my fault too. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Cora's gonna take the, this moment of unshackling the child of Gaia and go hit the purge button on okay. all those tests, like yeah. dead, 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 dead. <laughs> okay. As one goes, no years of work. Fuck your years of work. Yeah. They shouldn't have been killing people. And is... unfortunately, the punishment is killing people. <laughs> <laughs> As the child, the guy sits down and goes, My God, I'm so tired. Considering that you were, you know, in pieces. That makes sense. How long have I been here? The last thing you remember. Who are you? I'm Eric Wonder Swiftly. Have we heard about this dude? You've heard a couple things in terms of a child of Gaia. Uh, fitting that description at Moots, he's a guy from the Sept of the Unified Heart. I'm mumbling under my breath, don't make a joke, don't make a joke, don't make a joke. <laughs> Regardless of how long it's been, you did well to survive, and we'll do our best to get you back home. Okay. Oh. As he's kind of just taking a couple deep breaths. Oh. So all these purges, have they resulted in vials, or...? Yeah, they all they... created they created vials what? of the same thing. Of the same kind of black liquid. Burn them. Seriously, what were you going to do investigating them? Well, she was... She wants to destroy them. Okay. Yeah, there's ways to do, do that. There's chemicals and things like that to dissolve them away. As he goes... As goes! As finally, the, uh, Eric just goes... Whew, I'm going to guess I missed Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. How long ago was that now? It's May 28th right now. Cool. 23, almost a month. Were you saying that to him? Yeah. A month? Uh, I haven't slept a wink since then. Been going off stimulants that they've been injecting in me. Sleep right. now. Don't mind if I... <clears throat> uh, I will actually put him on my back and tie him up with my rope to my back while I'm in okay. Krynos. Sounds good. And I'll Can carry I... him around like that. All right, so this is the place you see various experimentations of all kinds. You see some Fomori attempts on animals, as well as well as new chemical compounds. Are there any more scientists alive? I assume you killed them all. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you slaughtered that... them all. Good. Even so... though we've destroyed the experiments, they still have data. I suppose Should if we... I could, if I could find where the data is being stored, I could attempt to destroy it. And then we can manually do that too. Yeah. So I need you to do an intelligence computer check, difficulty eight. 
Why would you? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I think eight. Morgan just needs to like go to a like college class or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Curse my lack of intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I could take a look at it, if you'd like. I know yeah, a little sure. bit. Sure, why Why not? I, I can't do anything. Uh, I have <laughs> ran out of being sensible points. Uh, so from now on, uh, everything I will do is not going to be sensible or helpful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I will use my last change ah. of one into a two. <laughs> It has been successfully put into a copybook, and that copybook sent the data off-site to the Magadon mainframe located in the main facility. Okay. Fuck. Yep, sucks. Nothing we can do. Can I go over to the Femora Arc and make sure that that thing is destroyed? It is goo, yes. Okay, and then I also want to burn it. Okay. I I just want to clear like clearly make sure that that is known... Because okay. those things, I'm assuming, we don't want to fuck with. Yeah. So, you are now in the empty-ish lab as Roy's got a sleeping child of guy on his back. <laughs> Is this uh, the first or second lab? Second. Uh, start looking for a secret opening. Seersha? Yep. Yep, you start looking. Seersha, Morgan, you may make a uh, wits... Investigation and add your occult as bonus dice. Everyone else can also do wits investigation, but they get the bonuses. Do, do you know? Do you know what you get for this? Six, you know, seven. Do you know what I get? One. Yeah, one because I don't have investigation or occult. <laughs> I have investigation. I have three investigation. <laughs> and three occult. I have two occults. Oh, okay. It's Put okay, Jade. I don't have investigation or occult either. Put me in the bin where I belong. Man, I am I am rolling well right now. You both come across something. It's a false wall. As you press your hands against it, while Morgan presses the open button and all the Fomori <laughs> tubes open, luckily there was nothing there. <laughs> but you guys, as you get to the door, you are slowly opening it when you hear the ominous behind you. Not again. Take a quick glance. Over and you see, that is. as you see Morgan at the consoles, the glass from the tubes are rising up. But they are all dead though, right? Yeah. Right? I was okay. going to say, they should be. We went round and pressed the purge buttons. Okay. Yes. <laughs> But it sounded, it sounded like the main door opened, yes, yeah, so that's all. <laughs> you guys push it open, and it looks different. This place looks more earthy. And you see grow glowing green runes. Ah. Someone with a cult, please explain. Oh, please. Um, I, will I guess explain. I can... Okay, all you right. can explain. Intelligence Occult, Difficulty 8. I only have four for that. Oh, <laughs> I got five. Uh... Stupid fucking ones. Yep. Tell me about it. One. <laughs> These are summoning runes. They make it easier to summon spirits. They're not any runes, really, that you've seen. There's only similarities in the form, not exacts. Do I have a general understanding of what they might, what spirit they might be trying to summon? You have a pretty strong suspicion. Is it a Bane spirit? Yeah, it's the group of spirits known as Banes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll just start scrubbing the, the the symbols away. You're trying to do that. They're they're carved in, and the green gloops onto you. Do you have uh, resist toxin? I. Do not, actually. Please roll stamina. Difficulty 8, Woo! please. Woo! Man. I have 
resist toxin. Oh wait, you said eight. Yep. Okay. So you only take one point of aggravated damage and a tumor starts to grow upon your arm that'll have to be sliced out. Um, Morgan, please work with this. Sirsha's gonna like dig her claws into it and just kind of rip. <laughs> as you start raping along, you get a strange pain in your claws as well. You do stop some of them as you see some of the glow dim, but you get this backwards pain in your hands and you'll take a one die wound penalty. Or not wound penalty, um, just pain penalty from the distraction. Looking at this, looking at Sersha, and then looking at my clay of like, you're all fucking dumb, I could have just... Uh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Just just <laughs> do it then. Let's do it, she's done it! I have versus toxin! Anyway, Morgan, That's cut why this you thing don't take the me. egg. <laughs> What do you want me to cut now? This tumor on my arm. I already <laughs> ripped it out. I yeah, literally just oh, I thought it you out. were talking about the the what you call it. Oh uh, yeah, I thought you were talking sigils. about the ruin. Sorry, that's that was my understanding too. That's fine. So no wound thing. You just ripped it out. Okay, cool. Okay. Just looking at Roy like uh the. And so, so break you the get the sense, then, Morgan. Get the sense. You get the sense that there's kind of like this cold wind in the the end of the cave. Searsha Morgan, you've heard the unseelie cord are typically associated with winter. Yeah. Uh, Searsha is going to shift down to Glabro. Okay. So that she can speak words. Okay. Morgan is doing the same. And she is going to call out an Irish. And then in English. As you hear back in Irish and then in English, a response. She just, just a... calls Lady Ariel. As he goes, she is here with but an old, old man. Oh, that, that one before. So in Irish, I'll continue. What old man? As he goes, I'm sorry, you're right. The forms should be held and kept. Oh, I am so old. Yornathrim, third of the Black Spiral Dancers, Elder. No. Oh shit. Nope. <laughs> Her eyes are going That's to get wide. Nope. And she's going to hold a hand out to everyone else. And then she'll ask in English this time, What do you want with the lady? To keep her pact going. An old man needs to be useful to his tribe, lest he face the right of the winter wolf. You are Garu, are you not? Aye. You know the laws as much as the spirals do. Do not suffer thy people to tend to thy weakness. And weakness has eaten away at my body. Eighty-six years I have wandered this earth. As you start to hear a shift and a crack as and a guttural voice. But I stand strong with my brothers. Honestly, it sounds like you need to shuffle off this mortal coil. Perhaps. But what will you do when the spiders come? That was clever of your friends, but not clever enough. As you hear kind of a metallic, a metallic noise coming, and you hear him going, Ah, so you are here. And then you hear this kind of growl. Cora's gonna so turn to look and see what it is. Like, where is the growl coming from? Behind us? In front no, of us? No, it's in front of you. Oh. Same with the metallic sound? Mm-hmm. Alright. As you hear the thing kind of twitching, and then you hear him go, Go! You see a spider spirit covered in rust approaching as it's completely changed. It seems that this spiral has turned a weaver spirit into a bane in one swift motion. 
and you will have to deal with the consequences of that next time. Huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not spiral. Thank Not you to everyone. Oh, God. Thank you to everyone who listened. Oh, we will God. catch you next week in our next episode. Bye. 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 Bye.